Let us now go to conspiracy to commit treason. Partly na discuss na natin to siya sa Article 8 of the Revised Penal Code. So, let us remember ang conspiracy to commit treason, hindi pa isinagawa ang treason dito. So, pag ginawa na ang treason, then do not speak of conspiracy to commit treason anymore. Ang crime doon ay treason na. So, dito iba siya sa treason. These are the elements. There is a war involving the Philippines. Ganon pa rin ha. Ang conspiracy to commit treason, gaya ng treason, is a war crime. There has to be a war involving the Philippines. And at least two persons come to an agreement to levy war or to adhere to the enemies. Yung tinatawag natin na two overt acts of treason. And then the offenders decide to commit it. And the two witness rule in treason is not applicable. Dito, hindi kailangan na may dalawang tao na nagtestify to the same overt act. Kasi iba yung sa rule sa treason. So kahit may isang tao lang na nagtestify concerning his knowledge on the conspiracy of these two persons, that is enough to convict the person. Okay? The other one is proposal to commit treason. So also, na-discuss din natin to siya sa Article 8 of the RPC. So again, there is still war involving the Philippines. And at least one person decides to levy war or to adhere to the enemies. And the act of the offender is proposing the execution to some other persons. So dito, di kagaya ng conspiracy na kailangan may dalawa, dito, sa lang, at least, pwede na makommit ang proposal to commit reason. So, yung taong nag-propose sa ibang tao na isagawa ang tinatawag na living war or adhering to the enemies. Pero kailangan pa rin na merong war involving the Philippines. Kasi gaya ng treason, kahit na gaano kasama ang pagpaplano, ang pagginawa uh, sa pag-traidor uh, uh, sa bansa. But if there is no war involving the Philippines with another country, then there cannot be treason, there cannot be conspiracy to commit treason, there cannot be proposal to commit treason. If the act of treason is actually committed, kaya nung nasabi natin kanina, so ang act of treason na commit siya, actual na siya na commit, ang conspiracy or proposal to commit treason cannot be considered as separate crimes or separate offense. Meaning to say, maabsorb na ang conspiracy or ang proposal. Ang conspiracy or proposal dito ay pwedeng gamitin in order to determine the degree of criminal liability of the offender. Need to say, paraan para masabi natin hanggang saan ang tinatawag na liability ng offender. So, ang conspiracy at saka proposal ay maabsorb sa crime of treason. Dito tayo sa misprision of treason. So, let us go to the elements. So, the offender is one owing allegiance to the government and not a foreigner. I want you to take note na iba ang misprision of treason sa treason. At this point in time, let us uh, differentiate treason from misprision of treason in terms of the offender. Sa treason, ang malayable Filipino at saka foreigner. Pero dito, ang malayable, Filipino lang. You have to be very careful on this one kasi actual na naitanong sa board examinations 
ang elements sa treason at saka misprision of treason at saka ang sagot doon ang pinaka uh, tanong ay patungkol sa except so yung hindi pwedeng malayable for the crime of misprision of treason so like this instance ang malayable Pilipino lang hindi malayable ang foreigner okay continue the offender here has knowledge of any conspiracy to commit treason against the government. And he conceals or does not disclose and make known the same as soon as possible to the governor or fiscal of the province or mayor or fiscal of the city he resides. Ang ibig sabihin pala na misprision of treason it is an act or omission. Act dito because there is what we call as concealing. Itinago ang nalalaman. Omission because there is what we call as failure to disclose. Di niya na-inform ang governor or fiscal of the province or mayor or fiscal of the city he resides. Let us have an example. Ito si A, may nalalaman siyang conspiracy to commit reason. So ito yung time na merong gyera na involved ang Pilipinas. Sinabi niya ito sa kanyang father. Hindi niya sinumbong doon sa governor or fiscal or mayor or fiscal of the city. Si father naman, nung nalaman niya, hindi niya nireport sa authority. Ngayon, of course, malayable si A for, uh, for the crime of misprision of treason. Si father, malayable din kaya siya for the crime of misprision of treason? The answer is no. Because si father has no personal knowledge. Si A lang ang may alam na merong tinatawag na conspiracy to commit reason at saka hindi niya sinumbong. So saan dapat siya isumbong? As soon as possible, it should be to the governor or fiscal of the province or the mayor or fiscal of the city he resides. So let us now go to important things to remember in misprision of reason. The offender is accessory to the crime of treason. Meaning to say, the penalty niya ay two degrees lower to the principle of the crime of treason. There is an example of crime by omission. Sa nasabi natin kanina. And the alien or yun foreigner cannot be punished under this particular article. Sa nasabi na natin. Kasi ang malayabo lang ay Filipino citizen because ang Filipino citizen ay mayroong tinatawag na pagkakautang na dapat maging loyal siya sa kanyang gobyerno.